you may not think of welding as a green, but that's starting to change, at least when it comes to training. Jeremy Beecher here now with a look at how new technology is making it happen. Jeremy. Yeah, well, Sean, this technology is called virtual welding, and it's being called a win-win both for students and for the environment. It's out with the old and in with the new at the Erie Institute of Technology, where students are using virtual welding to get a leg up in the field. Whether they're going to go weld at GE or possibly the shipyard, it's going to qualify them and train them on being able to go out and get a career in welding. A career that continues to thrive in Erie even as other manufacturing declines. And the school says this virtual welder will serve its students well. It can analyze their welds far more precisely than the naked eye can, but as I found out, it still feels plenty real. It's very realistic. Uh, we have sold some to the military, and they're all about virtual training, so they get that experience. It's School officials say it's not just a positive for students learning, it's also a boon for the environment. New welders oftentimes go through a lot of consumables. They're welding a lot of steel, that type of thing. Um, and a virtual welder, there's none of that. So it's all, it's all something, yes, very green technology, as well as the cost of the consumables is zero. Compare that to the thousand dollars or so worth of material a traditional student goes through each year. The virtual welder just came out, and the school is trying it out for now, but based on their experience, officials say it's likely a keeper. I think that once you have it here and the students see it and the teachers use it, um, I think it's probably going to be in our future plans to have one of these on site, absolutely. And the sticker price is actually about $46,000 per unit, but he says it pays for itself within just about a year with all the money they save by not buying those raw materials. Selena? Jeremy Beecher reporting tonight. Thanks, Jeremy. In other news.